Welcome to this Wednesday's all new Three Good Minutes. My title today is Walking Each Other Home. John E. Harnish writes in his collected sermons the following. The migration of the monarch butterfly is an amazing story, a lovely little creature who blesses our gardens and forests in the summer. Every autumn, millions of monarchs from all over the eastern United States and Canada migrate thousands of miles to a small handful of sites in Mexico where they rest for the winter. Then in the spring, they begin the return trip to the north. The amazing thing is that no individual monarch ever makes the trip to Mexico and back. And similarly, none of us completes life's journey alone. A butterfly that leaves the Adirondack Mountains in New York will fly all the way to Mexico and spend the winter. In March, it begins a trip northward, but after laying eggs in the milkweed of Texas and Florida, and it will die. And those butterflies will continue northward, laying eggs along the way, until some of them, maybe three or four generations removed from the original, make it back to the mountains of New York. But when August comes, they will head south, aiming for the exact place their great-grandparents visited, a place they have never been. The journalist Sue Halpern says, the monarchs, are, they, they always migrate in community and depend on each other. Although a single monarch might make it from New York to Mexico, it is the next generation who completes the journey. Now here's the word for the church. She says, no one completes the journey solo. It, it is only as a community that we discover the fullness of God's plan for us. And this makes me think of the European cathedral builders of old. Some of those magnificent buildings took over 500 years to construct, which meant that most of the builders never got to see their completion. Yet their work enriched and sustained the community of faith in subsequent generations. Remember, with all the art depicting Bible stories and their stained glass windows and the inscriptions, those cathedrals were the Bibles of the people. The cathedrals themselves told and preserved the stories of our faith long before the advent of the printing press and the proliferation of Bibles. I'm also reminded of the Ram Das quote, one of my very favorite quotes of all time, that is, we are all just walking each other home. Like the monarch butter butterflies and the great cathedral builders, no one completes life's journey solo, and we may not see all our work come to fruition, much like Moses, who only gazed upon the promised land from the mountaintop, but did not himself get to enter. Go ahead and read Deuteronomy uh, 34, verse 4 again. We can merely love and support one another during the time we wander in the desert together, all the while fulfilling God's plan for our communities, present and future. God's plan for us, you see, is much more communal than it is individual. And God calls us to care for one another presently, all the while laying the groundwork for our children and grandchildren's future. Amen. <music>